when did you realize you were a girl? Ah, uh, well, what do you mean by realize? You see, that's a whole other ball game, right? One can know something is wrong. And not have the words or the knowledge yet to... Yes. So I have to thank the younger ones. I have to thank the people who did a lot of hard gender work, you know, coming up with all of this vocabulary. You know, I didn't transition in my teens. I transitioned later. I mean, I've been Rika for a very long time, but that isn't about me transitioning young. That's about me being older. And um, there's this scene, and I don't want to conflate the two, but there's this scene where about Helen Keller, where her teacher, Miss Sullivan, taps out water, putting her hand under this and tapping out water, putting her hand, tapping out water in Morse code. And suddenly she made that connection that what she was feeling had these words attached to it. And that's exactly how I felt when I realized that there was this thing called transgender, genderqueer, and that was me. This was the water that I, this thing that I had been feeling had this name to it. And I seriously remember that time I just, boom, I sat down in my apartment. I was just sitting in the corner and going, whoa. You had an interview a while ago and you mentioned not having a womb. Do you really think that's necessary in order to be a woman? I think thinking about it had to be very necessary. I think that, well, I'm 55 years old now, and whether or not I have a womb is a moot point. <laughs> and I guess at the end, you just age out of it and said, I must be a woman because, you know, what else is, what else, you know, you know I am me, I, I guess there we are. But I think this isn't specific to being transgender. But I think that as transgender people, because of our journeys, our, our process of this quote unquote transition, we explicitly think about it more. What does it mean to be a woman? And part of it is, do I miss having the ability to procreate, to feel the experience of giving birth? And I think I'll always wonder and I'll always ask myself, am I missing something inherent? Rika, what is it like to have such a freaking heavy burden of being this symbol for people to work out their emotional insecurities and fear with? Well, I think that one thing is that I've been really blessed to be a writer. It allows me to feel that no matter what is happening, I can use it to teach. It's not just that I'm a writer. I tend to process the world not as um, not in an adversarial way and think, what can I teach the world? What can I learn from the world? How can women be assertive? One thing that I do is I don't think about it as so much now as being assertive. I think about that one woman who, that one girl who finds my work in the library and it speaks to them. And I will do things for her that have nothing to do with being assertive. It has to do with me reaching out and saying, I love you. That's powerful. And then if people say I'm assertive or not, at that particular point, I can endure all of that because there's somebody who might need me. And I'm going to be there and I'm going to say, thank you. I'm here. <laughs> 